This is the real Tom Rosen. This is a uh, pretty complicated problem to wrap your mind around. So they're telling you we have, the instructions are a little confusing too. So we have triangle ABC, um, squiggly, triangle A prime, B prime, C prime. So th th this notation, what it's saying is ABC is similar to A prime, B prime, C prime. So the way I think about that, whenever I'm told I have similar triangles is I draw them like this. You don't have to draw them like this, but because they all have the same angles, right? So they these are the same. That means these these lines are going to be parallel and they kind of share a top angle. It's, it doesn't have to you don't have to draw them like that, but you, if you had two similar triangles, you could always arrange them so that they fit like this ish. So this will be A and A prime. And I think this is B and C and B prime and C prime. Now one of the things, other things they tell you is A, A prime C prime, which is the big side, is equal to, right, it's the, the whole big, it's the long side, it's the, the right side of the bigger triangle, is equal to K times um, the right side of the smaller triangle. Right, so another way of thinking about that is you take um, the smaller, some, some physical feature of the small triangle, you multiply it by K and you'll get that feature of the larger triangle. Right, remember that's a property of similar triangles, right? So when you have triangles that all have the same angles, the ratio of, so, of all of the sides will always be the same. Like the ratio of the right of the small to the right of the big will always be the same as the ratio of the left side of the small to the left side of the big or the base of the small to the base of the big one or really any measured quantity, any distance you can measure on either triangle multiplied by K will give you the measure on the big triangle. So they tell you the area of the small triangle is one half A H. What that, matter, what that means, where that comes from, it doesn't matter at all. It happens to look like the formula for the area of a triangle, but that doesn't matter even a little bit. This is the value for the area of the small triangle. Um, now, what, we, what they're telling us is convert that into the area of a big triangle. And I want you to give the answer in terms of A, H, and K. Well, we're already mostly in terms of, we're almost mostly done. I just need to add, I need to convert this into the area. This is the area, I'll say, small. I need to convert this into area big. And I need to keep it in terms of A and H. And then if I have to change it at all, I need to use K. Well, um, let's say hypothetically that A is the base and H is the height. It doesn't matter whether it is or it isn't. Right? These could be any measured quantities about that triangle. But I'm going to say the measurement of the big triangle isn't... Um, instead of the base being A, now it's going to be A times K. Right, because how do you get from the base of the small triangle to the big triangle? You multiply it by k. And what happens to the height? The height of the small triangle, which was h, is now h times k. So this is the new area of the big triangle. And if you simplify that, what you'll get is k squared ah over 2, which is the second answer choice.